Hey, soul fam. Amelia Adair here. I hope you are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. And you know I got a great topic for you. Ooh. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. We welcome you on this channel. We heal. We grow. We elevate. And we work on being better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday. Mm -hmm. And let's get into some things, so fam. Because you know it's heating up. You know it's heating up. It's heating up. It's heating up. Now let's discuss, let's discuss shrinking ourselves. Okay, you, you hear the shoes? Shrinking ourselves to be liked. Shrinking ourselves and trying to fit into a place that we have outgrown. Mm -hmm. Shrinking ourselves to have company. Shrinking ourselves. Come on, Sophia. Come on, Sophia. We got to stop shrinking ourselves. Oftentimes, we're trying to grow and stay small at the same time. Come on, Sophia. We're trying to grow and stay small. So what does that mean, Sophia? There's things in our life that we have accomplished. There's things in our life that we have, we have outgrown. There's things in our life that we know better than. And for some reason, we still find a way to try to belittle our achievements, make others feel comfortable, dim our light. Come on, so fam. Come on, so fam. Dimming our light just so that someone could love us. And I'm here to let you know, so fam, you're only hurting your spirit. You're hurting yourself. And you're stopping your, you're stopping your bag. Okay, so fam, I'm going to say it like that. You stopping your bag, you stopping your greatness from showing and happening. You're literally pressing the stop button to please others, to make someone feel like, oh, okay, I'm not that big. No, I'm not that successful. No, you are. You are, so fam. If you've been doing the work, you deserve the blessings. If you've been being faithful, and you have been trying your best and you've been showing up every day and you have been making the shifts in your life that you know you have to make for you, then you deserve that throne and that seat that you on. Okay, yeah, I know some people are like, oh, you too full of yourself, you too full of yourself. No, you're not full of yourself enough. See, off the south, so fam, people want to keep you little and keep you down so that they can feel a little bit bigger than as many people as they can because they may have a broken mindset, right? They don't understand abundance. They don't understand what's for you is for you and what's for me is for me, hmm, right? They don't understand my shine has nothing to do with what you got, got going on and vice versa. And so for them, I need you to understand that as well. And when you're doing the work and you're at the gym, and you're growing your hair, and you're growing your edges back, and you're working on your skin, and you're working on your makeup routine, and you're putting in that extra time, and you're working in the kitchen to make sure you eat right and you feel good. So fam, embrace it. Sometimes we're afraid to embrace it because so many people are not embracing it. So many people are not doing the work. So many people are still afraid and because you're the one that's making the shifts and making the changes. So fam, be the one to shine. Be the one to shine. Be the one to be as bright as you can be. Be as truthful as you can be. Be as honest as you can be. And it could, it will continue to help you grow. Help you know what you need to know. You know? You know? Spiritually. Help you continue to just feel better about your choices, feel better about yourself, feel confident, helping others, being there, being in your seat, doing your job description, yeah, following your job description spiritually or out here in the physical world, okay, I know some of us, we have careers, okay, follow that career description, mm -hmm. and when the Lord gives you a job, follow that job description because we can't be doing too much or doing too little mm -hmm. don't be doing too much but don't be doing too little okay keep that balance keep that balance as you grow and 
don't la- don't allow others to make you feel that you're being bougie, you're being um, self-centered, and all of this is small mindset. When you have an abundant mindset, so fam, you never want to be thinking small, thinking little, thinking less than. Because all that does is it keeps you stuck and confused and, and depressed. Okay? A broken mindset keeps you broken, so fam. You don't feel good about everything that you're doing, and you should. You don't feel good about the work that you have already completed, and you should. If you got your degree, feel good about it, so fam. Sometimes we go to school, and then when we finish, and we hang around those that didn't go to school, it's unfortunate that they can't just give you your congratulations. I didn't go to school for you to agree to it. You don't have to agree to it, but you don't have to put it down. So fam, if you've been to school, and you have that degree, where your degree, okay, listen, Listen, where your degree? Because I'm sure if, if if universities was giving out degrees for those that finish high school, all those high school um, graduates will be lined up getting that free degree. Okay? So have pride in the work that you're doing. Be happy for yourself without the ignorance. You know, like feeling... When you remove the ignorance over them, you're not rubbing it in everyone's face, right? Like using it left and right. You know, well, I went to school. Well, I went to school. Well, I went to school. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying, so fam. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is when you are putting yourself out there and you building your resume, you, you can be proud of the accomplishment. Sometimes we finish school and then we leave and things don't work out the way we may have thought it would work out. And we just, oh, it's just school. No, it's not just school, so fam. And going to school is a part of this physical world. If you go try to get a job anywhere, so fam, they gonna ask for those degrees. They gonna ask for those degrees. So, Apart from whatever information may be out there in the world, if you didn't go to school and you don't know someone, I mean know someone, you're going to be left out. You're not going to be, no one's going to take you serious in the real world, right? Here on social media, on YouTube, okay, and even so. Even still, people want to see those credentials. And not to make this all about school, so fam, because this is not. No one came at me. This is not, this is not personal. This is just an example for any work that you do. If you start a brand, and okay, you got a hundred followers. Okay, guess what? Guess what? You got a hundred more followers. Than you did if you didn't start a brand. A hundred people. A hundred people is a lot. If a hundred people give you a dollar, you're going to be a happy somebody. You're going to go right down there and buy you them them shoes. Or you're going to spend it wherever you want to spend it. But if a hundred people give you one dollar, don't act like you ain't going to be happy so (laughs) well. I will. If a hundred people give me a dollar or support my brand or know I exist, I've succeeded. Sometimes we we look at success in big forms, right? Like we look at success like a million or more. So fam, success is showing up. Showing up, showing up, showing up. And if you continue to show up with the little you have, showing up with more and more will become easier. You have to build yourself to that place you want to be. And in your building process, so fam, be happy. 
Be happy with what you have. You may never see the final goal. The final goal may not come till after you leave. So imagine you spend your whole time upset that it's not the goal. Okay, so fam, enjoy every step. Enjoy every step. Learn your lesson through every step. And don't dim your light because someone else may not give you your flowers, okay? Do not dim your light to have someone like you. Because if someone is gonna like you, they are gonna like you. And if someone is not gonna like you, they not gonna like you, okay? It's just what it is. And you have to be focused on you and showing up the way you need to show up. Because your family and your supporters are waiting to see that face, waiting to see that brand, and waiting to see your growth. They want to grow with you. Okay? Amelia Adair here. If you ever want to have a chat and discuss some things, my details are always below. If you want to get you a good book, 77 Pieces of Poetry is available on Amazon. If you ever just need to be guided into your healing process, check Amelia Online Academy and get yourself guided into healing and into peace. Amelia Adir here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to see you at the next one. Bye for now.